Hey guys, this is White Mug here with a new video on how to draw the human body from a bird eye view. Uh, we're going to have some dynamic angles in this one. Uh, the key thing to know that the bird's eye view basically, yeah, there are other names for it I believe, but the bird's eye view basically is just from you know the camera from above and I'm going to try to do some interesting angles with this. And the uh, characters and the drawings and the figures, the bodies, the humans that we're going to be drawing in this drawing, we're going to focus less on the actual anatomy and just, you know, just the angle, the perspective and the posing and uh, less on the clothing and just the actual pose itself so you know these are like drawings where you have like simple drawings and as you can see you from the simple drawing you can then go in to add details with clothing and uh, you know all the other character iconography the difficult part uh, the you know the part we're gonna focus on is the actual pose itself and uh, you know the interesting angle and things like that so that's what we're gonna tackle for this video now for this video uh, basic stuff where I go in with like you know maybe an egg shape and things like that and go in with more details uh, later that's how we're gonna tackle everything but we're gonna come up with uh, six different drawings six different angles um, and six and there are many more angles you know you can draw from the back this video focus on uh, drawing the character from the front ish you know uh, but you can apply the same principles to drawing the character from behind and things like that so you have the head shape and you have those two kind of uh, vertical lines just to point give the the viewer uh, at least help you guide you to uh, with the perspective of the actual body so even though his leg actually doesn't get you know thinner that way it's just because of the angle uh, that we're looking at him from you know he's kinda gonna be in that way as well now b before you kinda tackle drawings like this you kinda have to have a basic idea of the human anatomy and I have videos on that uh, and not in great detail, but just enough detail to where you can pull something like this off. So I'll leave links to uh, videos where I talk uh, talk about here the male proportion and you know just drawing uh, the human body, you know different proportions and things like that for the female and female, because it's tricky sometimes, especially when you're drawing females, because uh, you know especially very feminine females I'll say, uh, because of uh, hips and you know boobs and stuff like that. It can get a little tricky. Uh, it's, it's not as straightforward as uh, drawing a dude. It's more complex. So here you have you know basic stuff. I have the the head, the shoulders kind of start behind. Uh, you kind of don't see the neck clearly at all, right? So there's like a there's like a, a foreshortening and perspective that takes place there. So you don't see that. And uh, there's a persp uh, perspective that goes all around the body. You see the legs go; they get thinner. The you know the lower it gets, but he's not standing straight. He's like at ease. So the legs are you know apart from each other, uh, but they still have that sense of perspective. Here, I want to do something a little different with the character walk uh, as as if they were walking, right? So you see like the top of uh, the top of at least our right, the top of his. Uh, feet for on the right but on the left you still see the top of it but not as much um, it, it can get really tricky but he's just putting it back how we you know going back to how we saw it. Uh, thing we're gonna draw six more and each of the six are gonna be I'm gonna tackle them in you know different ways um, here you can you know apply these principles to join characters in some really interesting uh, angles and positions and things like that and you can always never be af afraid to use the eraser and change things it's almost like you're mold think of it as if you're molding uh, a molding clay right so you can draw in one way then use the eraser and move move the body wherever you want to move the body so here from this side we're going to be drawing a little bit to um, you know drawing him on the right but uh, the camera angle is a little different there's a slight angle to it that's where his shoulder is where I drew that circle and again, I put those lines just to, you know, to guide me in how he's going to look. Now, we don't see the other side of his shoulder because that's that's covered up. Sometimes when I'm drawing, I have this urge, at least when I first, first started drawing characters in these difficult uh, difficult positions uh, and gestures and things like that, it was there was this urge to want to draw every part of the body. Uh, you want to, you kind of want to keep in mind that some of this, uh, some of the parts are going to get, they're going to get covered up regardless. No matter what you do, they're going to get covered up. Uh, so here you can see that the feet, his feet, like the, the feet on the on the right, is a little above the one on the left, but it's correct because of the uh, the camera angle. And again, the shoulder and his arm is gonna block, you know, parts of his uh, parts of his torso and you know his actual body and things like that. So 
don't be like we don't have to see every part of his body it, it, like it's not that we don't have to we actually do not see it um, and it's gonna get uh, a, a lot of parts of the body gonna get covered up even more uh, depending on like you know where we're looking from if we're looking a little higher because here we're not looking straight at him but we're still looking from above but if we're really really looking from above sometimes you barely see anything Some point where all you see is uh, you know the top of his head and shoulders so drawing from the other side again I'm starting with the head you don't necessarily have to start with the head but looking at that we start ahead and I jump straight to the torso and I use those lines the um, horizontal lines the horizontal curve lines to just kind of guide uh, guide the eye to know where um, his his uh, knee is going to be so that that circle there the the curve is going to be the first curve it tells me where his knee is for both legs and you can see that you know they're not together they're not on the same line because of the angle we're drawing from uh, so all those lines that I have there I'm using them to kind of guide me um, to create this character and so you see the other parts of his shoulder we don't see that you see his hand we only see like uh, his forearm because the rest of his arm is being covered up by his torso so these are things that you need to uh, you know uh, think about and you know keep in mind the same thing with his legs you know it looks like one leg is shorter than the other but that's not the case is because of um, is because of the angle we're drawing from uh, so you have to keep in mind the things that the body covers, you have to keep in mind the well, heights here and there, and a bunch of other things. Uh, here we're drawing the head again, and we just, we're going a little higher, not necessarily higher, but like we're looking from uh, a little more above the top, we're going to see the top of his head a whole lot more, not the top of my head, oh my god, my head's in the shot. Anyways, uh, moving on. So, you know, something really basic like that. So these are like, you know, perspective. You see his body kind of just, it's almost like it's forming like a V, right? The same thing uh, happens when you're drawing buildings and things like that. Here, if we put his hair, his hair is going to cover most of his face. You know, you, uh, you're not going to, you're barely going to see his nose. You might never, you might not even see his mouth at all. We're going to do that again. You can see where his ears are. But where I start drawing the shoulders, I draw the shoulders from behind his ears, right? And the shoulders and his chest show a little bit, you know, his abdomen, the rest of his torso show a little bit. And, you know, his legs form, you know, the, his legs do the perspective. And uh, his biceps barely even show sometimes. It depends. It depends on the angle. It depends on his um, pos positioning and how he's positioned. And we're just going to, I'm just going to add the shadow to kind of give you guys uh, an idea of what's going on. So the shadow... Uh, the shadow is clearly going to be different from the rest of his body. Obviously, uh, if the shadow was from, if uh, there was a light source from behind him, is going to is going to cast this uh, long shadow, probably even long. If depending on the intensity of the light, the shadow is, is going to be you know much uh, longer and darker than that. But moving on, so here I draw the head, and usually those lines that I draw. Uh, you know the kind of the plus sign in his face the ho uh, horizontal one kind of lets me know where his eyes are and the curve kind of lets me know where he's facing so since he's facing uh, right we can see the curve going towards the right and here we're gonna do something and this is kind of you know one of the more, more interesting ones where you see you see you don't see the full shadow uh, the full shoulder on the right and but you see most of it on the left right and so you see part of his uh, you see more of his chest at least the left side of his chest more than the right and you barely see his torso and the the what I'm using for perspective uh, perspective you see where the lines meet is more like a uh, vanishing point you can think of it that way so you can think of it in terms of in terms of uh, drawing um, actual uh, buildings and things like that so you can see he's his he's standing and that the the hand it looks like is you know on the same level with his knees but it isn't it's all it's all about the it's all about um, what's being covered and uh, where you're looking from so these are things you need to keep in mind you see that the his fist looks smaller before so but we can easily change it and do something real quick here make it look like he's about to fly but it looks it looks awkward because he's still it, it, it looks like he's standing right so we can still adjust this again you can think of it like you're you're molding things right there it, that would usually you know be like the floor but if you wanted to change it to say the sky, 
and maybe he's flying, you know, like Superman kind of thing, uh, I'll still, you will bring, uh, make his, like, toes point towards uh, the vanishing point a little bit, and maybe I'll bring, uh, you know, his lap, his right, uh, lap on the right uh, forward to make it feel like he's flying, right? Uh, and then, you know, if it was a manga, we'll put little speed lines here and there, maybe put his hair to show motion, to help show motion. If he had a cape, the cape also be there to show motion. These are the things you play with before you actually go into detail with the character. Now we can, you know, it still looks a little awkward. Usually if you're flying, they wouldn't fly like this because it wouldn't be the right leg that would go forward. Uh, it might be the, um, the left one, so we'll do the same thing. Again, we're still using that same vanishing point. Uh, just to help us with the perspective and the foreshortening of the character and uh, yeah that's it then you see I just I'm just shading that part to know you that's that's the leg that's behind and uh, that'll be that and it looks like he's flying here uh, this is just you know this is just an example the hand you can mold the character and do certain things you can do whatever you want really um, but you see this character is he's looking up unlike all the other characters they're either kind of looking straight or they're looking down here with the um, the horizontal lines and the you know the curved horizontal line and the curved vertical line on his face kind of lets me know where he's facing it a little bit. So and then you so you know there's that you kind of use that to know where his eye line is and uh, uh, you know where he's facing basically. Uh, I'm sure you guys get the gist. Uh, for the last drawing, uh, we're gonna be a little more uh, profile-y and have him stand a little more to the side. If you notice, these videos focused a whole lot more on, you know, drawing the character from the front, and uh, we did, we were, use, we're doing it with uh, a male. Maybe in the next, in, in a future video, maybe the next one, I'll focus more. Maybe drawing the character from behind and draw some females too, and just to show you guys how I do it, uh, because these kind of drawings kind of help. You know, it's, it, it can get boring sometimes if you're drawing a comic and the character is, is always standing straight. You kind of want some dynamic camera angles to keep things interesting. Another video that I'm thinking of doing uh, is, uh, you know, the camera angles that you do for uh, comics. But we'll get into that later. Uh, going back into this drawing, you know, here I'm starting with the torso. I'm not starting with the head like I usually do. Um, and... Um, if you're wondering, I don't always you see. I'm I like now, like I, I just put the head in there. I don't always do these when I'm drawing my uh, when I'm drawing. After a while, if you do the if you do these, you know, continuously. After a while, you kind of get used to it, and you don't need all the guidelines all the time. So here, there's a whole lot more perspective, and he, we're seeing more to the side, so we don't even see uh, the shoulder on the left at all. Uh, we see his ears a little. We see obviously we see his ears. Uh, and then you see his hand and put his hand and everything you so you, the things when you're drawing stuff like this you have to keep in mind the perspective you have to keep in mind the things that you don't see one way to practice this would to act would be to you know get a camera right and take actual pictures from these angles right and you know see what I'm talking about it'll make everything a whole lot easier once you kind of visualize them yourself uh, with you know real images and you know if you can't take pictures you can just google uh, interesting camera angles google uh, dynamic angles bird's eye view and things of that nature and that should help you a little bit here uh, you see his his leg on the right we see most of it it still has that perspective vibe to it but the leg on the left we don't even see we barely see it at all in fact all we see is the foot itself and it's you know it's barely um, and even that we can barely see but we see his foot itself and it's really high up it almost looks like one leg is way shorter than the other but it isn't again you can you know, I'll put in a shadow to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. And that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, I don't want this video to be too long. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, there will be more uh, drawings like this. Uh, I have a, 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 another set of videos uh, doing 20 ways, but 20 ways is just you know me drawing. It it's not really a tutorial. I don't really narrate at all. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Also leave a comment for future suggestions for videos. Okay, that was it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and share this video. Uh, all supports of any form 
it is much appreciated much much appreciated so you know i hope you guys like it and hope you guys stay tuned for more because there'll be more tutorials coming soon uh the rest of the i plan for this year to you know upload like 10 times whatever i've uploaded uploaded in the past uh i plan for a bunch of other things and for people asking questions about volume 2 of apple black <sighs> excuse me that will be released this year so yeah stay tuned for that this is white manga i'm out